Welcome to our store guard selective file restore demo. During this demo we will show how to selectively restore files using Falcon Store time views. First let's look at the demo environment. The demo environment consists of Hitachi Storage, which is provisioned to store guard servers, a store site server for management, and Windows clients connected to the store site server via Fiber Channel or iSCSI. In this demo ES Falcon Store 1 will be replicating to ES Falcon Store 2 over IP. Store site is a single integrated platform that simplifies the management of data across legacy, modern, and virtual storage environments. Store site gathers and consolidates information coming from different storage servers into a scalable repository of services, tenants, users, predictive analytics, alert rules, reporting, and historical data. Store site provides a web-based portal for centralized management and monitoring of multiple storage and backup servers. A store guard server is a managed storage server that provides storage virtualization and business continuity services for continuous availability to business data in virtual and physical environments. Next, let's review some terminology. A time mark, Falcon Store's trademark name for a snapshot, is an image of your data taken at a specific point in time. Time marks that have been taken with the assistance of a Falcon Store snapshot agent are transactionally consistent images of your data. A time view is an accessible, mountable image of a time mark. Time views can be assigned to multiple application servers with read write access for file recovery, disaster recovery testing and validation, data warehousing applications, and for disaster recovery. A time view allows us to restore selective individual files as opposed to rolling back the entire disk. A consistency group contains multiple virtual devices grouped together for protection and snapshot synchronization. For example, a database typically is configured with the database on one virtual device and the log files on another virtual device. Having both virtual devices in a consistency group ensures transactional integrity across multiple storage devices. Now that we've reviewed the demo environment and terminology, let's move on to the demo. This demo will highlight the selective file restore capability of the StoreGuard solution. First, let's copy some data over to Drive K which is labeled CDR. Now, let's log in to the store site web portal. For this demonstration, let's log in as the super admin user. First, we'll create a time mark of the presented drive. We can set the priority to low, medium, high, or critical which is used to maintain important time marks. Let's add a friendly comment CDR time view test to make it easy to distinguish the time mark later. Most comments are system generated. Friendly comments also allow us to differentiate between system created and user created time marks. As you can see, the time mark has been successfully created and has a timestamp of 11 hours 12 minutes and 49 seconds. Note the quiescent flag indicating that this is a transactionally aware snapshot. If a user, whether malicious or accidentally, deletes files, we can recover this data by creating a time view from the time mark that was created prior to the data loss event and assigning it back to the client so that we can recover the data. In this example, we're creating the time view from the time mark with the 11 hours 12 minutes and 49 seconds timestamp. Notice the friendly comment which helps us to differentiate between this time mark and the scheduled time marks created by the store guard system. The initial size of the time view is 5 GB by default. Keep in mind that the time view is meant to be a temporary device. As we write to the time view, it may grow to accommodate those writes. If the intent is to leverage writable time views for testing and validation, data warehousing, or other such activity, plan for additional capacity to account for growth associated with writing to the time view. Once the time view is assigned, we can rescan the Windows server and assign a drive letter. When the drive is mounted to the Windows server, we can copy the deleted files back to the original location. The process of mounting the time view was shown manually through the store site web portal. Mounting the time view can also be initiated using the Intelligent Management Agent, also known as the IMA. 
This allows the local server administrator the ability to recover data without needing access to the store site web portal. Time views can also be used for other purposes. For example, a time view may be mounted to a backup server so that backups may be completed at the discretion of the administrator. Another common use for time views is for disaster recovery. Our time view now shows up in Windows as drive letter Z. As we previously stated, the time view is an exact copy of what our K drive looked like at 11.29 which was prior to us deleting the files. This allows us to select just the files that were deleted and copy them back to the original location. Often, this method of recovery is preferred to rolling back the entire disk and losing any additional changes that would have come after the 11.29 time mark. Once we've verified that the data is good, we can clean up. After restoring the data, we unmount the drive from Windows, unassign the time view from the client, and delete the time view. We're showing the manual process but note that unmounting the drive and removing the time view can also be done with IMA. This concludes the selective file restore portion of the demo.